What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today we're going to be taking a look at 8 confirmed features coming later this year to iOS 13, presumably in iOS 13.2. So some of these features are going to be features that were available during the iOS 13 beta testing but just didn't make it to the final release of iOS 13, or just features that Apple has confirmed are in fact coming but we have not been able to play around with just yet. So like I mentioned, Apple did confirm that these features are coming later this year. They didn't say specifically that it's going to be iOS 13.2 but it's not going to be an iOS 13.0 or 13.1, so we could just presume that it's going to be iOS 13.2. Now, we don't know when to expect iOS 13.2 to be released to the public, but we can assume it's going to be in October or November. We'll probably see iOS 13.2 beta 1 sometime in early October. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into these features, and the very first feature is going to be one that was actually included in the iOS 13 beta stages, and we were actually able to play around with this, but it did get taken away, and that is announce messages with Siri. So I have my iPhone 8 here on an early version of iOS 13 beta and you can see here in our settings notifications you can see there we do have announce messages with Siri. If we tap on that you can see we do get our options right there. Now this feature is really cool because it allows Siri to read your text messages to you through your AirPods and also gives you the ability to reply to that message all without ever even having to look or touch your phone, your Apple Watch, anything. It's just all done through voice. This was hands down one of my favorite features in iOS 13 with the limited amount of time I had to play with it. It was super useful for me when I went on bike rides. I go on a bike ride every single day. It was really useful when I had my phone in my pocket and I would be able to hear and reply to messages without ever having to pull my phone out and I could continue pedaling on my bike. So this actually isn't the only section where you saw announced messages with Siri. It's also available in the control center. So if you go to our control center, custom customize controls. You can see we do also have a control center toggle right there for announce messages with Siri. So announce messages with Siri will come back most likely in iOS 13.2 and I can't wait because I absolutely love that feature and pretty much anybody with AirPods should also love that feature. The next one also has to do with AirPods and that is AirPods audio sharing. So some beta testers were actually able to get this to work and show the whole UI and everything. You can see right there how it says share audio but I was not actually able to get this to work on any of my devices even though I tried on every single device when I did learn that it was available. But this was a major feature shown at WWDC 2019. And it's really cool because it allows you to share audio from your device to another set of AirPods or Powerbeats nearby by simply just moving your phones close together and clicking on the prompt that shows up to share your audio. And what makes this even more cool is that you and your friend can choose your own audio level independently. So since you guys have two sets of different headphones, you're able to adjust the audio to your specific needs and not have to worry about, you know, it being too loud or too low for the other person. So I can't wait for this feature to be available to everybody later on this year. I think it's going to be a great feature that's going to be very useful for a lot of people. We also have new emojis coming later this year. So I did make a video earlier this year, like in February of this year, showing all of the new emojis coming to iOS 13 and to the iPhones in 2019. And iOS 13.2 is when we'll likely be seeing all of those emojis. And there's over 230 new emojis. And we iOS users always appreciate the addition of new emojis. Another new feature coming is HomeKit secure video and router. So this allows your security cameras and your routers to basically be placed inside of HomeKit so you don't have to go into the third party applications like you can see here I have Nest. I have alarm.com. So hopefully I'll be able to just add my security cameras and everything into the HomeKit application so everything can be streamlined in one application and not spread amongst multiple third-party applications. It's also securely stored in iCloud so that only you and anyone you invite has access to the data in here. And what's great is that it also doesn't count against your storage plan in iCloud. So anything you store in here, anything you save, video clips, it doesn't count against your iCloud storage. Now if we go to the shortcuts application, you can see here we do have the automation tab in iOS 13.0. One. In iOS 13, we don't have that, but in iOS 13.2, we're actually going to be able to have HomePod and AirPlay 2 access for the automation tab here. So when you set automations or scenes, you're actually going to be able to now configure the HomePod and AirPlay 2 devices like your TVs and things like that. So this is going to be awesome to add into an automation to like, you know, when you're five minutes from home, turn on the TV and set your HomePod to play low music or, you know, whatever you want to do. You're going to be able to actually have that tied into automations now which is pretty cool. I can currently do that with my alarm.com app. I have an AirPlay 2 TV and I'm able to turn the TV on 
you know, automatically when I get one minute from home, but it's going to be cool that it's now going to be in Siri shortcuts and just built into iOS and I won't have to use a third party application. There's also going to be a new screen time communication limit inside of the screen time settings here. So right here, you will see a new feature for communication limits. And this is going to be great if you have kids and you don't want them texting after like 11 PM or midnight, if you don't want them to be able to text, you will be able to have that option inside of screen time inside of your restrictions. Now, one thing that I did not realize is not already in iOS 13 or iOS 13.1 is the ability to share iCloud drive folders. This is something that seems super basic and that you'd be able to do by default. But for some reason, Apple does not allow you to share iCloud drive folders in iOS 13 just yet. So if you go ahead and select a folder here, you can see down here in the bottom left, the share is grayed out. All of these things are grayed out right here. But if we select an image, you can see it's working. So for some reason, we cannot share folders inside of iCloud Drive until later this year, presumably in iOS 13.2. And then we do also have the image capture API coming later this year in 13.2. That's going to be great for developers, you know, who want to be able to utilize the image capture API. And then one final one that is actually not confirmed but I do want it to happen is new wallpaper. So hopefully with iOS 13.2, we will be getting new wallpapers. We got new wallpapers for the home application. I would like to see new wallpapers system wide here in iOS 13.2 to go along with the new emojis and all of the features coming that I just mentioned in this video. Now, I do also hope that there are more features than just everything I mentioned, because again, these are kind of just features we've already seen, but weren't quite ready. And then they're going to be coming back later on this year. So hopefully there's some more features that we haven't seen previewed or mentioned at all that are going to be all new. But of course, I will be letting you guys know if that is the case come iOS 13.2 beta one in early October. But anyways, guys, there you have it. Those are some features confirmed to be coming later this year in iOS 13. Again, this is going to be presumably iOS 13.2, but things could change later down the road. If that is the case, I will make a follow-up video letting you guys know what the deal is with Apple. So let me know down in a comment below what your favorite feature is that I mentioned in this video, or if there's an additional feature that you would like to see added later this year, let me know down in a comment below. And of course, if you guys didn't enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.